we're down to our last two topics in Fletcher of Reinforced Concrete Themes. Uh, we're going to talk about T-sections, and then we'll end with uh, a discussion of slabs. And so when you talk about analyzing T-sections, uh, there are two cases where the compression zone um, is entirely in the flange and when the compression zone is in the web. Uh, this is very uncommon to be into the web, but we'll cover it anyway. Uh, this uh, first video, we'll talk about this, when the compression zone is entirely in the flange. So um, you know that we ignore all of the concrete uh, below the neutral axis. So if you look at these two pictures, um, all that we're concerned about is uh, the compression steel. And anything below the neutral axis, uh, excuse me, anything uh, below the neutral axis, we're not really concerned about. And it actually, it's like it doesn't exist. So in these two cases, since all we're looking at is the compression zone here and the compression zone here, um, can you see that these two beams, as far as we're concerned, are identical because you just ignore what's below the neutral axis? It doesn't matter what that shape is, you know, this could have been shaped like this for all we know, and uh, it wouldn't matter. I mean, really, physically it would, but for our analyses, it wouldn't. Um, so these two are identical in terms of uh, analysis. So if the compression zone is entirely in the flange, so I've deleted uh, what was below, can you see these are identical? Okay. So they're exactly the same. This means everything you've learned in the previous videos on rectangular beams uh, are all good. The formulas, the procedures, everything, the charts, everything, except there's one exception. Okay, so the exception is that AS min, remember AS min uh, has to do with uh, uh, MN has to be greater than the cracking moment. And so the cracking is happening down for positive moment, it's happening down in the web. And so AS min, the area steel min, is uh, we were calling this rho min. Uh, the greater of these two were rho min. But uh, the, uh, the area that you multiply it, B times D, is B of the web, okay? So um, when you calculate AS min, um, you are gonna use B web. However, when you calculate rho, you're gonna do AS over the compression with BFD. And this is gonna be a small number because uh, uh, BF is big, okay? But AS min, so this might be less than rho min, but that'll be okay if AS is greater than AS min. And so, so the catch is rho uses BF, but uh, rho min, uh, it will be times A, I'm sorry, Romain will be times B web. A, so B times uh, B web D. So just be careful for that. Do not compare the row. So do not, do not compare row with row min. Uh, again, the row for a TB will be small because B is large. Compare, don't do that. Compare AS with AS min, where AS min is row min times B web times D. Okay. Uh, the next, uh, so that's everything you need to know about uh, T-beams are the compression zone in the flange. You just do everything we did before, but instead of comparing rho to rho min, compare AS with AS min, and, and remember to use B-web when you calculate AS min. 
Okay, so next uh, we'll talk about the ext extremely rare case where the compression zone goes into the web.